Welcome to the educational channel. This is grade 12, episode 8, unit 2. We will be covering reading comprehension and translation in this episode. First, for the reading comprehension. Here are a few tips if you want to do the reading comprehension. Have a look at the questions before reading the passage. Read the first sentence of each paragraph. Pay attention to the transition words and discuss the meaning as if you were telling it to someone else. When coming across a difficult word, try to guess the meaning from the context. Go back and reread after you have read the questions. So, first we will read the questions. Question number one. Which of the following would be the main idea of the first paragraph? This will be a multiple choice. You need to skim the whole paragraph. The main idea is the point of the paragraph. The author can locate the main idea in different places within a paragraph and is usually the initial sentence of the paragraph. In the multiple choice, this is the second question. What does the underlined word deteriorated in the second paragraph mean? This needs careful reading and scanning. Build up your vocabulary. This will help you identify synonyms or antonyms of words. Focus on the context where the word is given and sharpen your knowledge of idioms and expressions. Question number three. What does the underlined word these in the second paragraph refer to? Words such as this, these, it, or they are used in specific sentences. You need to scan the targeted paragraph in which the article is given. Pay attention to the sentence which is close to the reference word. Question number four. According to the passage, the transformation of the state of Kuwait to wealthy state was due to. Now, how do we locate explicit questions? It is something that has been clearly expressed. You need to scan the paragraph or the article, read and understand the question carefully, and focus on the text information. Question five, according to the passage, which of these is not true? How do we answer implicit questions? The target information is not directly stated in the passage. Sometimes you need to use your personal background knowledge and the text information to answer this question. Read between the lines, meaning understand the passage. After the multiple choice questions, you have the productive questions. Question number six. Why did a lot of people die of starvation in Ireland in the 19th century? Question 7. How do you imagine Irish people felt when they left home for their new life in America? Question 8. How has Kuwait provided a good home for skilled workers? And question number 9. Why did a lot of civilian people leave Spain between 1936 and 1939? Let's start reading the article. Why do people leave their home countries? This article looks at three reasons why people emigrate and gives historical examples. In the early 19th century, the most important industry in Ireland was agriculture. However, the farmers were poor and they used old-fashioned methods. Because they heard that they could earn four times as much in America, some farmers emigrated. Unfortunately, between 1820 and 1840, the economic situation in Ireland deteriorated and in 1845, the potato famine began. Disease decimated 75% of the year's potatoes, the main food for most of the population. During the next two years, 350,000 people died of starvation, and there was a huge increase in emigration to America. By the end of 1854, a quarter of the population of Ireland had left for the United States. The economic boom of the 1960s and 1970s helped transform Kuwait 
into a modern and wealthy state funded by oil and other natural resources. The boom in the oil and construction industries necessitated a huge influx of skilled workers. By 1972, thousands of them moved to the region to work in high-tech cities such as Kuwait City. These workers from countries such as the United Kingdom and Sweden had come to seek a better life and help with the development of Kuwait. Kuwait affords them an opportunity for work and the standard of living that they would be hard-pressed to find anywhere else in the world. Between 1936 and 1939, there was a terrible civil war in Spain. The armies used bombs and other modern weapons, and this meant that thousands of civilians were killed and injured, and many homes and villages were destroyed. Because of this, many thousands of ordinary Spanish people who were not involved in the war decided to leave their country. Most of these refugees crossed the border into France and settled there, but others moved more permanently to Britain or the United States. After reading the paragraphs, let's take a look at the questions and find the answers. Which of the following would be the main idea of the first paragraph? You may open the textbook and try to figure out which one is the correct answer. Is it importance of agriculture in Ireland? Is it the situation of farmers in Ireland? The outbreak of the potato famine or the reasons behind Irish immigration to USA? What do you think? It's the reasons behind Irish immigration to the United States. What does the underlined word deteriorated in the first paragraph mean? Now in the last episode, we took this word, do you remember? What do you think it means? Declined. Question number three. What does the underlined word these in the second paragraph refer to? Go back to the textbook, to the second paragraph, and check. What does it refer to? These refer to skilled workers. Question number four. According to the passage, the transformation of the state of Kuwait to wealthy state was due to what happened that made Kuwait the wealthy state? What do you think? The economic boom of the 60s and the 70s. According to the passage, which of the following is not true? Focus here. They don't want the true sentence. They want the false one, not true. If you go back to the passage, you will realize that it's A. People migrated because of the famine in France. This is not true. This is false. The other sentences are true, though. After doing the multiple choice questions, you go to the productive questions. And here, try to write full, meaningful sentences. Let's take a look at number six. Why did a lot of people die of starvation in Ireland in the, in the 19th century? What do you think? Go back to the passage in your book and see. People died because of the potato famine, because potato was their main food. Question seven. How do you imagine Irish people fe felt when they left home for their new life in America? How did they feel? They felt happy and excited, whereas some felt homesick. Question number eight. How has Kuwait provided a good home for skilled workers? What did Kuwait offer? The answer would be, Kuwait affords them an opportunity for work and a decent standard of living. What about this question? Why did a lot of civilian people leave Spain between 1936 and 1939? What happened in Spain? Because of the Spanish Civil War. That was the reading comprehension. It was pretty easy. Let's now start doing the translation. Here are a few tips for translation. Focus that you want to translate meaning, not words. You have to understand the sentence and translate the meaning of the sentence. Avoid word for word translation. Don't leave spaces for words you don't know. We don't want to see a sentence with spaces in between them. 
write it as a full sentence. If you understand it, you will be able to write it as a whole full sentence. Now we will translate these sentences. Translate the following into good English. So we have an Arabic sentence, which we will translate into English. Remember, understand the word, understand, sorry, the sentence, and don't translate word by word. Saud. تهاجر الحيوانات في أوقات معينة من السنة بحثا عن الطعام ولرعاية صغارها. Did you understand the sentence? Now, let's translate the meaning of the sentence. Animals migrate at certain times of the year to find food or to raise their young. This is exactly what the sentence means. Let's try another one. Now this time I'll give you more space to try. Muhammad, هذا صحيح. تتبع الحيوانات الطريق نفسها للهجرة كل عام ومن جيل إلى جيل. What do you think? Try to translate the whole meaning of the sentence, not word by word translation. Give it a shot. Read the sentence more than once so that you can understand it very clearly. Mohammed, that's right. I can also say that's true. Animals follow the same route every year for migration and from generation to generation. If you see here in Arabic, we started with the verb, but in English here, we started with the noun. If you want to replace any of the words with a synonym, that's fine too. You don't have to write the exact same answer as we have here. In this episode, we learned how to extract relevant information after reading a passage. We had multiple choice questions and productive questions. Always remember to read the questions carefully before reading the passage. And remember to revise your answers. Then we looked at how to tackle the translation. Don't translate word by word understand the sentence read it more than once as long as you understand you will know how to translate thank you for watching mm -hmm.